Yovelim, Jubilees 13. And Avram journeyed from Haran, and he took Sarai, his woman, and Lot, his brother Haran's son, to the land of Canaan. And he came into Ashur, and proceeded to Shechem, and dwelt near a lofty oak. And he saw, and behold, the land was very pleasant from the entering of Chamat to the lofty oak. And Yahuwah said to him, To you and to your seed will I give this land. And he built an altar there, and he offered thereon a burnt sacrifice to Yahuwah, who had appeared to him. And he removed from thence unto the mountain, Beatel on the west, and Ai on the east, and pitched his tent there. And he saw, and behold, the land was very wide and good, and everything grew thereon, vines and figs and pomegranates, oaks and elexes and terebinths and oil trees and cedars and cypresses and date trees and all trees of the field, and there was water on the mountains. And he blessed Yahuwah, who had led him out of Ur of the Kazdim, and had brought him to this land. And it came to pass in the first year, in the seventh week, on the new moon of the first month, that he built an altar on this mountain, and called on the name of Yahuwah, you, the eternal Elohim, are my Elohim. And he offered on the altar a burnt sacrifice unto Yahuwah, that he should be with him and not forsake him all the days of his life. And he removed from thence and went towards the Negev. And he came to Chevron, and Chevron was built at the time, rather at that time, and he dwelt there two years, and he went thence into the land of the Negev, to Baalath, and there was a famine in the land. And Avram went into Mitzrayim in the third year of the week, and he dwelt in Mitzrayim five years before his woman was torn away from him. Now Tanais in Mitzrayim was at that time built seven years after Chevron. And it came to pass when Pharaoh seized Sarai, the woman of Avram, that Yahuwah plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Avram's woman. And Avram was very glorious by reason of possessions in sheep and cattle and asses and horses and camels and men servants and maid servants and in silver and gold exceedingly. And Lot also his brother's son was wealthy. And Pharaoh gave back Sarai, the woman of Avram, and he sent him out of the land of Mitzrayim, and he journeyed to the place where he had pitched his tent at the beginning, to the place of the altar, with Ai on the east and Beit El on the west. And he blessed Yahuwah Eloheyu, who had brought him back in peace. And it came to pass in the 41st Jubilee, in the third year of the first week, that he returned to this place and offered thereon a burnt sacrifice and called on the name of Yahuwah and said, You, El Elyon, are my Elohim forever and ever. And in the fourth year of this week, Lot parted from him. And Lot dwelt in Chedam, 
And the men of Chedam were sinners exceedingly. And it grieved him in his heart that his brother's son had parted from him, for he had no children. In that year when Lot was taken captive, Yahuwah said unto Avram, after that Lot had parted from him, in the fourth year of this week, lift up your eyes from the place where you are dwelling, northward and southward, and westward and eastward. For all the land which you see, I will give to you and to your seed forever. And I will make your seed as the sand of the sea. Though a man may number the dust of the earth, yet your seed shall not be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and the breadth of it, and see it all. For to your seed will I give it. And Avram went to Chevron and dwelt there. And in this year came Kedola Omer, king of Elam, and Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Aryok, king of Elakar, and Tidal, king of nations, and slew the king of Amorah. And the king of Chedam fled, and many fell through wounds in the val valley of Sidim by the salt sea. And they took captive Chedam and Adam and Sevoim, and they took captive Lot also, the son of Avram's brother, and all his possessions. And they went to Dan. And one who had escaped came and told Avram that his brother's son had been taken, taken captive. And Avram armed his household servants. For Avram and for his seed, a tenth of the firstfruits to Yahuwah. And Yahuwah ordained it as an ordinance forever, that they should give it to the priests who served before him, that they should possess it forever. And to this Torah there is no limit of days, for he has ordained it for the generations forever, that they should give to Yahuwah the tenth of everything, of the seed and of the wine and of the oil and of the cattle and of the sheep. And he gave it unto his priests to eat and to drink with joy before him. And the king of Chedam came to him and bowed himself before him and said, Our Lord Avram, give unto us the souls which you have rescued, but let the booty be yours. And Avram said unto him, I lift up my hands to El Elyon, that from a thread to a shoe latchet, I shall not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Avram rich, save only what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkal, and Mamri. These shall take their portion.